how to make a Zoom video meeting recording more accessible by adding timestamps or editing a trim cut and then saving as a new video or the same one. We'll be using a Zoom video recording obviously and YouTube Studio video editor. This video is out of this simple question. What on earth are you going to do with the hundreds and hundreds of hours of Zoom video recordings that we are making and have made in the last few weeks because a lot of people are working from home or remotely. So going back to the original question, I've got everything prepared in this slideshow so we can get cracking straight away. The method number one is upload your Zoom recording to YouTube. And you can do that in the normal way as public, unlisted or private. Number two is add timestamps in the form of time, colon and seconds or whatever. Because they become clickable, I will show you how that is. These lead to number three, which is open the YouTube Studio Video Editor and we can trim, split and save as. Everything is in this slideshow, really easy to follow. Hopefully very useful, I think it will be. So on screen, you have your personal meeting room or a meeting that you've just done. In this example, let's just get a laser pointer here, is we've had our Zoom meeting, for an example, I'm doing this in a thematic way. And then in here, we've got the to Toy Story chat. Now that is the file that goes up to YouTube. So in my um, example demo, of course I've not really done a Toy Story chat, but I'd love to, meaning that you've got a title slide, you've got an opening monologue from Woody, he then interviews Buzz, then there is a bit on screen with Woody and Jesse, Mr and Mrs Potato Head, and then the whole gang are at the end of our meeting. See where we're going with this? And that is a thematic feeling that if you were doing a meeting through Zoom, through an organisation or a public, private, whatever, you need to make sense of it. So this is the deal. Once the video is uploaded to YouTube, and you can notice that this is a demo one that I've done on my own channel, but as private, I have added the timestamps. So this was a demo I needed to do. So every 10 seconds, something changes like Woody and Buzz. Get the idea, really simple. This is a huge payoff, meaning that every time, and this is brand new to YouTube that I have just seen, that when we've got the blue stamps here, you'll notice there's a little separator there there is one there, one there with the yellow arrows here, which not only does it indicate that there is a different segment chapter change on the video, but we've actually got a title as well. So can you see that the frame here is at 10 seconds onwards and Woody is in the title? An amazing thing. You can also see that on this private public or unlisted video, you will have, as you hover your mouse over, there is a pop-up which gives you the title and the time. How useful is that? There's another one there, look. So Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head talk at, say, 49 seconds or whatever. And that the red bar has got a slight bit bigger. And you'll notice here that on 50 seconds in, the whole gang, Woody, Jesse, Buzz, Potato Head and the gang is also on the subtitle on YouTube. That is a really, really good adjustment and feature um, on YouTube now. Crossing over to the YouTube video editor, and I've done it as a slide um, screenshot rather than a demo today, because you go into your studio YouTube, which is not beta anymore, it's the real thing, and you have your video and click it, and then you'll see the editor on the left. What I've done here is I've done an edit trim, and I've just taken out a portion of this, in other words, deleted it, and I can save that as new. If you wanted, you could save it as the original video. In other words, chopping off the um, front and the end, which is seen in this slide. So I've just annotated this to say that I have edit trimmed out the first and the last. So I've taken off the, say, introduction and the outro. I'm going to save the big green bit in the middle. That is just an example. On this one, I've actually taken out a start, a segment that we didn't need, another segment we didn't need, and the ending. So therefore, my new video is going to be just on this one, two, and three. Get the idea. I've done other videos about the YouTube video editor. When you save as new, 
you have, for an example, your minute and six seconds with your Toy Story chat, and then up here it's Woody and Jesse, the copy, which was I've saved just a Woody and Jesse um, interview, and then after a few seconds in this example, because it's a small file, you've got a brand new video listed on your channel, which is, say, nine seconds, which is, of course, a highlight and a portion of the full video meeting. Get what we've done here? Because coming down to the end of it, then, if it is public, you can see that the Woody and Jesse interview is on your channel, and we've got the whole thing, which is very, very similar to what YouTube does already. I'm thematically um, kind of like featuring what you would do with a Zoom meeting in this way. Right, I've nearly finished. I'm just going to go through because these are our slides, which is just irresistibly um, not to actually show on screen because they're so cool. So in other words, that was our end piece. You can see that this could even be a Zoom meeting, but it isn't. It's another video from YouTube Mike Downs.